um hello so the 40th question is show the final result of hierarchical clustering with the complete link by drawing a dendrogram so we have to construct an hierarchical uh, clustering with the complete link so complete link is one of the method in hierarchical clustering and then we have to show the result in the form of dendrogram okay dendrogram i'll just write down further how it will be constructed first we'll solve the solve the problem of hierarchical clustering with the complete link approach okay so this is a question where it is a cost sorry distance matrix okay here a to a means the distance between point a and point a since it is a self loop self node hence it is zero the distance is zero b to a means the distance is 0 0.12 which is all which is also same as a to b okay so the below one gives the value and this is a distance matrix which is mentioned in the question paper so now how do we solve this problem so here this is the first step so first step what we do is so the data given this is a data given in this we'll identify which is a minimum value means which has a value i mean which has a less distance value okay here 0 0.12 is less among all the value it means a and b are nearer so since 0 0.12 is a minimum so it says that that a and b can be grouped into one or it can be clustered into one it can be clustered into one group okay so 0 0.12 is a minimum in this table now what i do is i just cluster it so this is a table of that previous table which isn't mentioned in the question paper but here i'm grouping a and b because it has a minimum distance between them so this is one cluster okay now how does data filled us since a and b is a cluster and now our task is to find a distance of a b cluster with all other points okay so this is the one which need to be identified and remaining will be same as in the previous data there is nothing change only now we have to calculate the distance of a b cluster with other points okay so how this data is calculated so this data is calculated by a formula where we need to find a b distance with respect to c because first one is the c here okay so it will be like max of distance with of a with respect to c and distance of b with respect to c means we have to take the maximum distance that is either from a to c or b to c means if a to c is having higher distance and uh, than the b to c then we have to consider a to c distance as a total distance of a b cluster with respect to c so here max of distance of a with respect to c and distance of b with respect to c so we'll take max of it so how do we calculate the distance of a with respect to c and distance of b with respect to c is from the previous data we'll find we'll find distance of a with respect to c so not here i'll find c with respect to a that is 0.51 so it is here it is 0.51 okay similarly distance of b with respect to c that is b with respect to c means or c with respect to b that is 0.25 so here it is 0.25 so the max will be like 0.51 among this two so this will be a distance of ab with respect to c 
okay so i'll just fill that value here similarly i'll find distance of ab cluster with respect to d and uh, distance of ab cluster with respect to e and distance of ab cluster with respect to f okay it follows the same approach like this approach it follows the same okay and i'll fill the values here okay this is step 1 in step 2 what we do is we just repeat the same process means from the previous data like step 1 data we'll check which is a minimum okay here the minimum is 0.14 that is between c and d the distance between c and d is minimum so what i do i form c and d as one particular cluster so i'll write a table where a b is already same like previous table but here i'm grouping c and d c and d column i'm just grouping just saying that they both are now at one cluster okay so this each row tells the cluster a b is one cluster now c d is one cluster e and f are different different points which we are considering and still we didn't included in any of the cluster okay so we'll consider as a independent at present okay so we create the table same like the previous one here the all cd related uh, point distance or point should be mentioned here see now we have to calculate here cd distance of cluster cd with respect to cluster ab and uh, cluster distance of cluster cd with respect to e that is like cd with respect to e or cluster cd with respect to f so these are the values to be calculated present and remaining it will be as it is in the previous table okay so our task is to calculate only these values here okay so similar to that only first what we do here we'll calculate to find this value we'll calculate the distance of cd with respect to ab so distance of cd cluster cd with respect to cluster ab is max of distance of c with respect to ab cluster and distance of d with respect to ab cluster because we are grouping here cd right so to find the distance of cd we have to find the max of c with respect to ab and d with respect to ab same here max of distance of c with respect to cluster ab and distance of d with respect to cluster ab so just fill the value from here now consider only this table so each and every time we have to consider the previous table not the original table okay so from previous table we can substitute the values here so now the max value will be 0.84 so 0.84 is a, is a distance of cd with cluster with respect to ab cluster okay so this value is 0.84 so similarly we have to find this one that is cd with respect to e and cd with respect to f so these two value will be calculated in the similar fashion okay so i have just showed you one of among one among them that is distance of cluster cd with respect to e okay this one distance of cd uh, cd with respect to e okay it is same as cd with respect to e since we are not considering the upper values only we are considering the lower value then it is nothing but cd with respect to e that is this value so i have to calculate this value so this value will be calculated in the same fashion saying that distance of cluster cd with respect to e so that will be given as max of distance of c with respect to e and distance of d with respect to e so from the previous data from this step 1 data we'll substitute the values okay that we got 0 0.70 as a final distance so i'll substitute here as 0 0.70 okay so similarly we'll calculate oh, your distance of cluster cd with respect to f and whatever value comes we just fill here
okay then this table we will fill so this is a step two your step two is completed so now what we do still we didn't get any final cluster right so what we do from this table we will identify which is the minimum value that is minimum distance so here the minimum distance is 64 0.64 okay 0.64 is a minimum and this is the distance between a b cluster and f so now what we do is we combine a b cluster with f okay so here what we do is we combine a b cluster with f similarly we'll take and these are same as it is the same c d e but not f because it's been clustered with a b okay so here a b f related values should be calculated in the same fashion and remaining values will be copied as it is from the previous table okay so here i have to calculate this one that is a b f cluster distance with respect to c d cluster and a b f cluster distance with respect to e point okay so here i have showed one of the among them that is a distance of a b f cluster with respect to c d so we can calculate as a distance of a b cluster with respect to c d and distance of f cluster with respect to c d because a b is in previous table a b is considered as one particular cluster here one particular cluster so i can directly take as a b as one cluster and f as another one point and then i'll take a values from this previous table and then i'll find the maximum value among them okay so 0.93 is a max distance of between a b f cluster with respect to c d so 0.93 is filled here similarly i'll find the distance of a b f cluster with respect to e so i'll get some value and that will be mentioned here okay this is step 3 so since everything is not still it's clustered final cluster it should be in one sentence okay like all should be in one particular row okay since again you have three different rows then still it can be clustered so so what we do is like among the values in the table you will identify which is a minimum value here 0.70 is a minimum and it is a distance between cd cluster with respect to e so now what i do is i just combine cd cluster with respect to e point so it will be like c d e so this become one cluster so the remaining will be like a b f as it is in the previous and c d e is combined now so here the diagonal will be zeros as it is and i have to calculate the this particular value that is a distance of a b f cluster with respect to a c d e cluster so this is calculated by using the same formula where the cluster c d e uh, distance between the cluster c d e and a b f so same max of distance of cluster c d with respect to a b f and distance of cluster e with respect to a b f and you'll get the value and the final will be 0.93 so it's a 0. Point, uh, so it's a 0.93 and it's last step because next step will be, there's only one value one value means it's nothing but combining of these two rows then you'll get the final and that need not to be calculated because this itself give a complete dendrogram so now how to construct the dendrogram from this data so in step one like see here in the step one what you did is you combine a and b so here the first cluster is formed between a and b okay so i'll write here as a and b okay so i'll join this this is one a sorry b should be here okay b okay this is one okay next in second step you uh, in second step you combined c and d okay so c and d i'll write here c and d and i'll make one cluster 
but this should be little bit higher than the previous one so every time when you create this box it should be higher than the previous one which tells the distance is higher higher like it is a smaller one it is a little larger one it is next larger one next whatever you get it should be little bit higher okay so this is c and d cluster okay mm -hmm. so this is second step in third step you combined the a b with respect to f so with f you combine the a b so i'll just write here you can either write here also it have it's okay so a b with this should be higher than this previous one so a b with respect to f okay so this is a b with respect to f so now this one form a cluster next this is third step in fourth step you combine cd with respect to e here right so cd is here i going to write e one more value and i combine that okay this should be little bit higher than the previous this cluster okay this was a previous cluster it should be higher than this okay this is done here okay so this third step you uh, that's done fourth step you combine cd and i have written cd here so since this is done so in the last step what you do is you just combine last previous two cluster and make as one cluster so this was a previous cluster and this was one previous cluster just combine and make them so it tells that ab is a first cluster and then this cluster is combined with the f cluster similarly cd is one cluster and this cluster is combined with the e cluster and later the cd and abf combine to form one particular cluster so this is a dendrogram you can also mention a distance with respect to here like you can draw a vertical line here and this you can mention the maximum distance of ab cluster and here you can mention the maximum distance of abf cluster and here you can mention the maximum of cd cluster and here you can mention the maximum of cdf cluster and here you can mention or it's not it, if it is not mentioned also it's fine so here you are representing the distance like the maximum distance okay this is a dendrogram and this question is for 6 marks thank you